Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. It is miserably cold here today in, uh, in the harbor. I'm here in Portsmouth in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, this is the spot I usually operate portable from, but today I'm going to park like right by the spot, put the antenna outside and run the coax here into the car because it's so darn cold. But anyway, today I want to experiment with something. It's the uh, G5 RV in a vertical uh, situation. I know that sounds kind of crazy. How are you going to do it with such a big antenna in a vertical thing? Well, I'm going to use an antenna called the uh, Mini uh, G5 RV, and it was built by my friend Tim, N9SAB. This is a variation of the uh, G5 RV. The G5 RV was originally uh, designed and, and made by Louis Varney back in 1946. Louis Varney uh, served in World War II with the Royal uh, Corps of Signals, and he was a radio guy. After that, he worked for Marconi. I believe he was licensed in the 20s. Um, he, he's passed away now. He's a silent key, but um, G5 RV. He wanted to develop uh, somewhat of a doublet antenna, similar to like, you know, a, a, a horizontal thing that he could put in his back garden or backyard, and it would be multiband. So what he did with this was his idea was to... Um, use some ladder line up up to basically a something similar to a doublet and um and, and this thing worked and it was a lot of uh it got a lot of rave reviews and it also got a lot of hate as most antennas do as we know but uh, there's a lot of other versions people have really um done different things with this this is a shortened version it's not the original g5 rv but it's a it's a shortened version that my friend tim has built and, I, and he said that this has never been done he's never seen it put up in a vertical uh, situation to do it. Kind of tough, kind of hard for me to do today, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it outside of the car here and, and, and get it up and down. What I really want and what I've been looking for is a, a vertical dipole or something or double or something similar that I could sit inside the car or basically even sit on a, a beach chair on the beach and just tune it with an ATU, multi-band. I want something that I could do multi-band. This antenna does require a... a an ATU, a tuner, and I have an external one today I'm going to use. I'll show you the setup here in just a few when we get up and running. But, um, yeah, I wanted to see what I could do. So what I want to do today is put the antenna up, see if I can make uh, contacts on 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, because this is what this modified version of the G5 RV is what it, what it's meant for. And uh, so it's a, a small mini G5 RV. Same idea, just a, a scaled down version. So I'm going to do that um, and I'm going to put it up. I, I've got some sketches that I've done. Not exactly going to go just like the sketch, but um, if you really want to take a peek at the sketch and kind of get an idea of uh, the lengths and everything, it, it'll be right here. I'll also put a link to that um, in the description, if you want to look at it. Also, I'll put a link in the description to Tim in uh, 9 sb his, um, his Etsy and his eBay page. He makes amazing antennas. I have quite a few. I actually have some others that I'm, I'm going to be uh, trying out soon. Anyway, let's get this antenna up and see how it works. Okay, here's the setup. Something new, first time I've used it. It is a flagpole to go flagpole holder. There is my DX Commander 10 foot pole. And there is the mini G5 RV on the pole. See the bottom edge here is about, uh, I don't know, about eight foot high. That's the end of it. The uh, the ladder line, not quite, nowhere near 90 degrees, more like 45-ish. Uh, it's going down into the car here. I'm parked at the marina here, right by where I live. This is my little work car that I, daily driver that I drive. I've got about a 45 minute drive to work every day, but it's Norfolk over there. This is the marina here in Portsmouth. So let's, uh, let's go check this thing out see how it does. Okay, this thing tuned up with my um, LDG uh, AT100 Pro 2 tu Auto Tuner. Doing it well. I'm going to be running 100 watts. This antenna is rated at 100 watts. Um, so I'm going to be using my Alinko DX70. Let's see if we can make some contacts. Oscar Golf, Oscar, thank you. Name is Ice. You see Charlie Echo in Anoka County, Alpha November, Oscar. Uh, QSL, the name's Walt. Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. You're 5'9 into Norfolk, Virginia. 
QRZ, the Minnesota QSO party. K0 Lima Delta. Uh, QSL, you're 5 9 into Norfolk, Virginia. Thank you. Whiskey 1 November, Victor Tango. Okay, uniform. Oscar Dolph, Oscar. Face copy 5 9. Uh, QSL, you're 5 9 into Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, Norfolk, Virginia. 5 9 in Brazil, South America. 100 watts uh, with my Alinko DX70. You are 5'9". Sound wonderful here today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You do an excellent job, my friend. Copy the 55. You also 5'5". Great signal. Great out Do an excellent job. I'm going to go find and Puerto Rico. Well, it was a fun experiment. I enjoyed it. Um, it worked. I got made contacts on every band uh, 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20 with a little DX in there, too. That was that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Um. Uh, a few things. I wish I would have brought another radio. I had a little issue with this radio while I was operating. Uh, Mike, I think a mic jack's got a little issue with it. It would uh, break up on me a little bit. Had a few problems there, but uh, you know how you, you have to overcome it. It's part of operating portable. Uh, I would. De I was debating whether to bring. I wanted to go 100 watts today. I was debating whether to bring this with the uh, external tuner there or to bring my. Um, my Zygu G90 and the Zygu 100 watt amp, which I now I wish I would have brought that. It probably would have been a little bit easier. I probably could have. Uh, I tell you what, operating without a waterfall, I'm, I'm becoming spoiled. I like that as well. I probably need to invest in a a nice 100 watt radio with a waterfall eventually. Um, it's just not the time to do that. But all in all, I enjoyed it. Uh, a few notes um, tuned up really well on uh, 12, 15, and 17. 10 and 20 was kind of strange because, um, you know, I'd be in one part of the band and be in tune and I'd move up the band a little bit and I'd have to retune again. So, um, yeah, a little bit narrow, uh, there, but, uh, the other bands, um, 15, 15 as big as 15 was, uh, it stayed in tune all the way up and down the band. So it did well. Um, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Um, you know, I get a lot of, uh, uh replies and comments on my videos. Uh, you should use this. You should have done this. Listen, I just want to experiment with everything possible. That way, when I talk to somebody about a certain type of antenna, I can actually say I use it. I just read about it. I'm not accusing people of doing that, but um, if you have an antenna that works really good for you, that's cool, and, and, and I'm all about it. I just uh, I do this because I want to operate with as many different antennas as I can, so I know absolutely there are better antennas than all of the ones I use. There's always a better antenna out there, and uh, I'll always be searching for that better antenna. But uh, this was a fun experiment. Um, if you really, if you're interested in this, I'm sure this antenna, this antenna worked good. I'm sure this antenna works great as horizontal up and installed properly. I, this was a, a an experiment. I mean, this thing has never been done vertically like that, and it worked. It worked really good right here by the water too. It worked really well. So um, had fun with it. A, a great experiment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I, I didn't, I had a lot of QSOs. I just uh, selectively put the few that, um, just to kind of give you a feel that, you know, that it was working across all the bands. So that's what you just saw. Um, yeah, and not everything. Um, so when I edit it, that's, that's really what I'm going to do because there's just so much in there. A lot of, uh, those QSO parties going on. Uh, so 20 was flooded with Vermont, Minnesota. And, and that type of the QSO parties, which is cool. That's great. People were making great contacts. Um, not a really stellar uh, DX afternoon on 20, which is a band that I really like to work a lot of DX on. I got my DX on the other bands, and that was cool. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm getting ready to take off for Poland in a week. 
Uh, I got a few antennas I'm going to take with me. I'm looking forward to uh, operating over there. So um, if you hear me on the bands as uh, Sugar Papa stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar, come back. Hopefully we can make some contact. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar 73, my friends. See you soon.